There are four reasons I probably think uh, inclusive growth is important in local government. First thing is it goes to the heart of our purpose, which is to create prosperity for a place and its people now and for the future. So that's prosperity for everybody and the full flourishing of every individual in the place that I'm responsible for. The second thing is we absolutely see the consequences for people's lives if we don't get inclusive growth right. That's both in terms of productivity of our businesses, the balance sheet of the city, and also in the demand that comes through the doors uh, of the city. And the fourth reason for us, quite importantly, is we need a strong tax base of people in good work can pay taxes, which creates the revenues that I need to be there for people whose lives aren't working out the way they intended. What qualities are really important in a city mayor? So I think um, at the heart of any good city mayor is a very strong compass. A very strong compass that's pointed to what I would call true north, which is actually about that commitment and that passion for its place, and for that place to be everything it possibly can be. And that goes with that commitment to prosperity, that everybody can see that that is their driving intention. That is what drives them, rather than ego or vested interest. And what they are seeking to do is to actually bring all aspects of the place, its different sectors and agencies together to make the most of that place, to get all the talents of a place fully in play. And I think that convening power, strong moral purpose, a very strong narrative, the convening power of the mayor, uh, and the willingness to compromise, to let go, and actually to do this through building common cause rather than through exhortation or regulation.